Sony booth at CES 2011, and we are taking a first look at the just announced Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. Uh, we've got Sony with us here to give us a tour of the device. Hi, my name's Steven Sneed with Sony Ericsson, and uh, the first thing I want to point out is just the, the beauty of the product. It's uh, very thin there in the middle, and it tapers off on the ends, so for when you're holding it in landscape, it feels really nice to grip, and, and, and actually in portrait too, just a very nice ergonomic feel. But uh, just a really cool uh, concave design too. You noticed uh, if we go around to the top of it, you do have an HDMI connection there now, and a really good easy HDMI experience to show not only the videos and photos that you've shot, not only the videos and show photos that you've shot, but also you can see most of the user interface. So for example, if you're playing a game, you can see that on, over the HDMI connection as well. And did, this has the new, what Sony's calling the reality display? Yeah, it has a reality, what's called reality display mobile Bravia engine. So the, the same technology that, that we've inherited from the Bravia screen, you'll have here as well. And can you discuss specifications of the screen size? You said it was 4.2 inches. 4.2 inches, correct. Do you know the resolution? The, no, I don't. No, that doesn't have a resolution. I don't have that in mind at the moment. And uh, this is running the newest version of Android 2.3? Yep, it has and the, and this is the new, the new Timescape and Mediascape here? Yeah, uh, we, have, we have Timescape in there. You don't see Mediascape now. What you have is what's called a media pane. Uh, so if you go through the five screens, one of them will have this media pane. So I can uh, start playing music, and then I can also scroll and find images that I want to take a look at, or, or play videos. Yeah, what, what sort of uh, uh, hardware is this running from a processor and RAM standpoint? You have a Snapdragon 8250. Okay. Uh, don't have the RAM in my head at the moment. Do you moment. know the, the, the clock speed that Snapdragon 8250 is 1 gigahertz? It's 1 gigahertz, one gigahertz. yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is that, is that a front facing camera or is that just a sensor on the front? It's a sensor. It just what, what, has the single. 8.1 megapixel camera. The back, so the, so the camera sensor is on the back with LED flash? Yes. So you have the LED flash, H HD video capture, and 8.1 megapixel. And is that the full HD uh, video capture that it has? Yes. And from the uh, hardware buttons, they are actual physical buttons, and you've yes. got the uh, Sony Ericsson, so you've got the back button. The yeah, and you button, see from our previous button. phone, they've kind of rearranged them around a little bit. Uh, but you have the back key now on the left, and you have your options key there, your menu options key over on the right, and the home key the, it takes you back to the, the home the screen. The phone is incredibly small. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to... Especially uh, with a 4.2 inch screen. It, it's extremely thin. Do you know uh, the battery specifications? I mean, it's amazing that you can put a battery that looks like that. Yeah. You have a huge battery. Let me show you. Yeah, I'd love to know the specifications. <laughs> What's the, uh, the milliamp hours of that? Uh, I believe it's 1,500. 1,500 milliamp yeah. hour batteries? I'd love to just do a size comparison here with... Uh, yeah, sure. People can see how thin uh, this really is. It's one of those phones you have so to really actually, see. Actually, if you look at, at the very middle of the phone, this is actually thinner than iPhone 4. Yeah, no, it's uh, an extremely thin device. Do you have a, a, any video loaded up down there? We can show some of the uh, yeah, sure. video capabilities. The 4.2 inch screen, I'm sure people would love to see that. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what's, uh, what's going on? And are you guys prepared to announce any U.S. carrier information on this yet? Nope, not, not this time. So there's a simple one of the moon. Let me back it up. And let's play... Oh, here's a good one. Here's Final Fantasy playing on. The display is really nice in person. And it, and it performs very well out in daylight. So with the, the mobile Bravia engine, you've got a greater contrast, you've got a, a brighter screen, but also this has a no air gap display in the hardware. So it's, you have a complete uh, seal around, around the device that keeps any reflection from coming inside. So that makes it brighter by itself too, with the hardware. Phone is uh, extremely, extremely thin. Thank you very much for the time, I appreciate it. Thank you.